We're at the Fig Garden Swimming Racket Club. It's probably the oldest club in existence in Fresno. Play tennis for three years, no one beat him in the whole wide world. See why I had him come today? It feels good to have a good shot and to play well. And uh, so it's challenging it's, and it's motivating. It's a lifetime sport and I'm a perfect example of that. When I was in oh, the ninth grade or something like that, my parents got me a tennis racket. And I'd hit against the barn, and you know, the barn has these <laughs> boards, so the ball's here and there. And it was just out in the country, you know. I grew up in Oleander, uh, and it's just a little crossroads area, gasoline station, grocery store, a library, and the school. Well, I went to Fresno State, because my mother was alone. My father passed away when he was a very young man. So I went to Fresno State and uh, enjoyed it. I always had a special interest in tennis because I did develop the first children's racket and had that patented. And as a result of that, I had many, many opportunities uh, to uh, go to universities to talk about the progressions in tennis and to teach other teachers. Of the very renowned Dodo Cheney, the person who's won more gold tennis balls from the United States Tennis Association than anybody in the world, I said, why don't you go to a national tournament? And I said, well, I don't know anything about them. So she said, well, there's going to be one in Baton Rouge and their age group tournaments. And so I was 64 at the time, so I thought, well, I can do that. You have to learn to close out a match and uh, to learn to, to take chances and risks when you don't really want to, you know, but you have to in order to be a winner. And uh, I started winning and then uh, the opportunity uh, to be on cup teams, they, they take the top four players of an age group and send them to other countries to compete with other countries. So I was on uh, 11 different cup teams and traveled to Turkey and Cape Town, South Africa, Australia and all over. The list of people are Neva Trilova and Billie Jean King and uh, Chris Everett and, and so I'm with some very <laughs> famous people and uh, but that's for the service that you've uh, again given to tennis over the years and then of course the unveiling of the sculpture uh, here at Fig Garden and uh, it just <laughs> and then the top dog event is just a big big surprise and a great great honor. <laughs>